Crypto King is not a financial advisor. Welcome, family, and thank you for tuning in to Learn Crypto TV. I'm Crypto King, and on today, I just wanted to come in and give you a recap of the week and see how everything's been going. We've been looking at the crypto markets right now, and right now is in a you know what people perceive to be as a bad situation. But you got to consider all of the things that's taking place that's going around, going on around the world. However, that does not stop the crypto adoption from happening. So today, I just wanted to give you a few plays here that's out here that is actually holding up pretty well and also in some good buy zones and buy areas to where you can start to beef up your portfolio if you so wish to. Remember to always do your own research. You never, ever, ever, ever not go into a project and not know what type of project that you are investing into when you put your money up. So today, we'll go ahead and we'll talk about these few um, projects and we'll go from there. So thank you again and we'll just get right into it. All right, family. So right now we're looking at Bitcoin and Bitcoin is right now at 41,993 or 974 is between bouncing in between those price ranges right there. However, it's well off from the all time high of 65K. What we saw back <coughs> late last year in the uh, fourth quarter. So we want to make sure that we are holding on to our Bitcoin that we have in our portfolio and do not panic sell. OK, so, you know, this here is just an opportunity for you to accumulate more Bitcoin for your portfolio, even though it's at the price that it is. You have to have iron hands with this. Right. Because when you see the prices going this low, best believe those institutions, they're looking to buy up a lot of Bitcoin here. So you want to hold on to what you have and not sell. All right, family. So here's a project that's holding up pretty well. And we see we're looking at Chainlink and it's up about 7% right now. So um, is that 26.56 is the current price. And we see that, you know, there's some sell pressure that's going on down there. But there's 81% on the loan that everybody is taking a position on. But I told you guys about Chainlink already. Chainlink is partnered with just about everybody in the crypto space. So this here is a Oracle that's bringing on off chain data, excuse me, bringing um, off off blockchain data and bringing it on to the blockchain and Chainlink has a leg up and a foot up in front of everybody because they've been around for a long time. So Chainlink is definitely a project that you want to get into. You can still accumulate here, but the all time high for this project was in the 50s. So that's where you want to look. You know, if you wanted to take profit, you can look to do that there. Outside of that, you just hold long term hot. OK, family. So the next project that I want to talk to you and introduce to you about is Monero. Now, Monero, this here is a privacy coin. And it's one of the top privacy centric cryptocurrencies that's based on the crypto note protocol. And this is a secure, private and untraceable currency system. And Monero uses a special kind of crypto cryptography to ensure that all of its transactions are remaining 100 percent unlinkable and untraceable. So it's interest is increasingly transparent that, you know, you can see the use for this particular coin or token and why you should want to consider it for your portfolio. Right now we see is at um, $201, but you know, you can always buy fractional shares of these projects. And you know, it's still in the positive. It's not quite up a percent, but uh, it's up a quarter of a percent. So we see that Monero is still holding strong in the position of the whole crypto market. So consider this for your portfolio family, Monero. It's a privacy token, untraceable and unlinkable. Remember that. OK, family, the next project we see is Dash. Now, Dash is one of these projects that's a digital cash that's designed to offer financial freedom to everyone in the world. And these payments are instant, easy and secure with near zero fees. A lot of people like to hear zero fees when you're doing transactions. You know, when you use things like Western Union, Remitly, um, MoneyGram and these type of money transferring systems to move money across the you know world to whomever your loved ones or whatever to pay for something. Then, you know, you always have to incur transactional fees. Well, this particular currency uh, project is, is designed and is trying to conquer or attempting to conquer 
and solve that particular solution. So I like this utility for this particular project. Dash is being used in certain places in South America as well. So it's definitely worthy of your um, knowledge gaining in your research about this project before investing into here. But I just wanna put this one also on your radar. We see it's up 7% as well, and it's at $131.90. So it's not a bad spot for you to accumulate it after you do your research and put it as a part of your portfolio. Cause this here is something with Monero, definitely you're gonna see more of here in the future and the time to come. Okay, family, on to the blockchain of blockchains, Polkadot. Polkadot was up at around $30 or so earlier this week when we first um, it's talked about it back on Monday, but now we see it's down around $25.68. So if you was accumulating this right now, then here's another opportunity for you to buy the dip. So go ahead and if you feel comfortable with this project and you've done enough research about it, then here's an opportunity for you to actually add to your portfolio. Also, you know, over, you know, we see it's down 3.6%, but you know, it's still holding strong considering the rest of the crypto market and what it looks to be a tank or what some would call a crash. But anyhow, Polkadot is one of those projects that's holding strong and you should definitely take a look at the projects that's on the parachains or that's up for the parachain auctions. You can go to polkadot.com or polkadot.org to be able to check that out and see about those particular projects as well. Might be something worth looking into. You might find a hidden gem. And now, family, we see Matic. Now, Matic or Polygon, this here is that layer two scaling solution that I was telling you about for Ethereum. Well, the price is down to about 211 right now, and it's down almost 5%. So if you want an opportunity to buy into a project at a good price, here you are. Here's an opportunity for you. Matic wants the crypto markets recover from the volatility and all of the up and down movements and swings. This project is probably going to be one of those projects that you're going to see skyrocket. So I'm going to constantly tell you about Matic. And this is obviously a project that I'm into and definitely you should be considering as well. So, you know, definitely worth worthy of looking into. And definitely you can take a look at it. A lot of down at the bottom, it says that says 75 percent of people shorten it. And, you know, and that's probably people taking profits, their FOMO or their FUD or whatever the case may be. But trust and believe when I tell you this is a project that you want to have in your portfolio for the long term so that way you can catch all of the gains that the people are moving off right now you pick up what they're leaving behind well family thank you again for tuning in and right here i just want to tell you because i brought up monero earlier in the program about these privacy coins so these privacy coins are cryptocurrencies that were created to place the privacy element front and center that's why you have projects like monero out here and you know you have other different projects that's working to try to achieve the same thing but privacy and freedom are a strong political attribute and they associate when you associate it with money in general you know no government kind of want that you know these large corporations and financial institutions they like to track and see how you're spending your money so are they legal well in most countries you know what i'm saying uh they are or they are not known about but there's so that means that there's a risk behind it and that risk is it could be banned later on down in the future so you know we just have to pay attention more so to the privacy and how it's going to be implemented in the cryptocurrency space and from there you know what i mean you just do what you will but in the meantime right now there's an opportunity for you to make money with trading monero on gate.io you can also look at zcash Zcash is another privacy um, cryptocurrency as well. And Dash, we already talked about Dash earlier as well. So all three of these, these are the top privacy cryptocurrencies and definitely something that you want to take a look at. Well, family, thanks again for tuning in. I'll catch you on the next episode at the top of the week where we'll be looking at the crypto price action on Monday. Have a great weekend. And remember, excuses are tools of incompetence used to build monuments of nothing. Those who specialize in them seldom amount to anything. There are no excuses. There are no excuses for you not doing your own research. Have a good weekend.